We want to know what's causing the earthquake. Youngstown residents are demanding answers about why their houses shook on the afternoon of New Year's Eve. I've never heard had an earthquake in my whole life. It was frightening. I thought a jet airliner crashed on the side of my house. In the middle of the afternoon on New Year's Eve, the ground shook here in Youngstown, Ohio. It was the biggest of 11 earthquakes here since mid-March. And get this, scientists tell us they think they're man-made. This is the New Year's Eve earthquake. Seismologist John Armbruster says the 4.0 quake was likely triggered by this disposal well, which injects wastewater from fracking and oil and gas drilling at intense pressures, nearly 9,200 feet underground. This earthquake was about one kilometer from the bottom of the waste disposal well. Injecting this much waste into the ground is... Uh, disrupting Mother Nature, and Mother Nature, in this one case, is biting back. The company, DNL Energy, says proximity alone does not prove causation. Channels 1, 2, and 3. Are Ohio called on Armbruster to help figure out what's causing all the earthquakes. We only need one disc here. And closed five nearby disposal wells indefinitely. It's possible that there's induced seismic activity, so that's one possibility. Man-made earthquakes. Correct but we don't have conclusive proof yet. There are more than 170 of these wells across Ohio and 144,000 across the country. States, including Ohio, have linked them to earthquakes in the past. We wanted to understand how this process really works, so we're getting a rare look at these massive waste tanks and then how it is all injected deep into the earth. The trucks unload into two tanks and then it is going through a filter and then injected down hole. We're putting it exactly where the federal government says to put it. It is mostly salt water, but also a small amount of chemicals from the frac fluid used to break apart the shale to extract the oil and gas. How much drilling wastewater is being pumped deep into the earth here? 2,000 barrels a day, approximately. And overall so far, over the past three years you've been doing this? 1.1 million barrels. I've lived there for about 42 years. Uh, we've never had an earthquake like that. Opponent of fracking for the jobs it brings to this depressed economy, Youngstown's mayor is now worried. You know, when you feel unsafe in your own house, then it's a serious situation. The fracking boom is causing huge demand for more disposal well permits. Rick Simmers is a top regulator. Do companies have to do any seismic tests before they drill a well? No, nowhere in the country are seismic tests used for injection wells. Ohio is considering tougher regulations, but state rep Bob Hagan argues the industry is just moving too fast. All officials are rushing to find out anything that we can do to provide jobs for this area. We have to do it in a safe environmental way, and I don't think that they're doing it. He's called for a moratorium on all injection wells in Ohio. It would, it would stop the development of the best economic opportunity that's ever presented itself over the past two decades for the state of Ohio. And it would shatter the industry and the, and the, lively, and the livelihood of, uh, of the people that are existing here now. We have supplies. Well, we need the jobs, but at the same time, at, at the cost of people losing their homes, losing what they've worked for their entire lives. In Youngstown, Ohio, Poppy Harlow, CNN Money.